Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to be reacting to a Margarita Life video and it is called 12th Doctor, Why Is It Always Me? So I'm really excited to jump into this because it's been probably a year or two since I watched anything relating to the Doctor Who franchise, specifically um, any of the Doctors that I actually watched, which is 9, 10, 11, 12. I watched a little bit of 13, but I didn't really like the direction that the show was going, and so I dropped off at that point. But I also didn't fully watch 12's run, but I really love his speeches and like the speeches that he has, I think, are my favorites from the entire series. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see what this video is all about. That being said, let's just jump right into the video. This is a Christmas special episode, I think. Oh, this is when he's about to regenerate, right? Yeah, this is Twice Upon a Time. Yeah, I, I actually remember that. Yeah. Oh, this is the another Christmas special, right? After losing River. I'm so sick of losing. Immortality isn't living forever. That's not what it feels like. Everyone else dying. Yeah, I remember that. I'm so tired of losing people. Look at me, I'm fine. Yeah. My journals. Hell. It's a battlefield. And it's empty. Because everyone else has fallen. No stars. And his regeneration scene. Stars. Your version of good. The uh the that's the prison, right? That is going through the clock or whatever. No, the confession dial, that's what it was called. Yeah. I really like the confession dial like part of the story. I think that was actually very cool. I don't like Clara's ending, by the way. I will say that. Because Clara is one of my favorite companions. Oh, and Davros. I remember... Wait, so that Davros scene is like when Davros is dying and then the doctor actually helps him. Which... Just... What a blunder, man. That's that's pretty bad. So long as that's Oh yeah, that's Davros too, right? Yeah. After all you've done. I forgive you. He's talking to... That was the Zygon Invasion episode. And that's Bill. See, I never really watched much with Bill. Like that season I was... I didn't really watch. And like, that's nothing against Bill. It's just like... I loved Clara so much that, like, after she died, I was like, I can't really watch this show, but I'll maybe watch some scenes and stuff. Like, I know Missy's in that season, and I think I watch, you know, at least the first couple episodes, but I don't watch the real ending of that se season. I know the Master comes in, and Missy are there, and I know some of the scenes from that, like, ending. I know Bill becomes a, um, a Cyberman, and then I know, like, the subsequent... Uh, last few Christmas specials that take place with him. I don't know if there's there's like two or three after that that take place with him, I think. Or maybe there it's the two before that. Like the superhero one, the one with River, and then Twice Upon a Time. I don't know if those all take place after this season, but like I know Twice Upon a Time definitely does. I'm not sure about the other two. Actually, no. No, the one with River has to take place after Clara dies so that's the season before Bill and then the superhero one happens I think right after that so I don't think there's a season in between those I think there's just two Christmas specials I think that's how it is I could be wrong though I, I'm like I don't have this off the top of my head but yeah that does make sense why is it always, me? Why it is, why is it always you that's true it's always you that has to suffer man I love this speech from the Zygon invasion. It is so good to me. Because I want to beat someone. Because I hate someone. Or because because I want to blame someone. You are monsters. They all lost. That was the boneless episode. I do what I do because it's right. Because it's decent. I find it very sad that that Missy dies right before she goes back to help him. It's kind. I don't know what to do with all that pain. Hold it tight. 
Till it grips your hand or burns your hand. Until it burns your hand. And, and you say this, no one else will ever have to feel this, feel like this. Or no one else will ever have to feel this pain. Yeah, I've heard this speech so many times. This is such a good I don't know what that's from. Perhaps I didn't watch that. I don't know. That was fun. That was a lot of fun for me. I mean, it's just... It's been a long time since I've watched anything Doctor Who related. So it was very nice to see the Doctor just kind of in his element, doing his thing, talking about all the loss that he has. And, you know, videos like this with the Doctor and he's just like very sad and grim. Those are so good to me. The entire existence of the doctor he's only happy really when he's with a companion and when he's alone that's when things kind of go awry and so he loses people all the time and that does take a toll on him and i think it takes a toll on pretty much every doctor at some point apart from maybe eccleston because like you know he died and, and rose was still around all the other ones i mean 10 11 12 they all lose their last companion i think and as a result they're they're alone i mean tenant is alone after losing donna um i think after donna after donna he doesn't get any other companions he has like a few one-offs and then he has his final goodbye i think i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that i would that's how it ends and then smith smith does still have clara but he spends like 300 years on his own on an island so like you know clara is still there but like it's a very different moment when 12 takes over it's like a completely different character so it's like it's very it's very abrupt and you can feel that like kind of difference there and then with 12 when he dies he's he's alone yet again i mean not even missy's there because missy dies as well so i don't know i I just really like videos like this because it shows all the loss that you know this what like 2000 plus year old man has had I, he's probably like 3000 at this point i don't know they they did a lot of time manipulation with with matt smith so like it's very hard to tell how old the doctor is and i don't think that's a bad thing it's just like i want to kind of vaguely understand how old 12 is because I, I don't know if they ever really explain his age there that's all i really have to say for this video it was a ton of fun i love the doctor i love the 10th doctor i love the 11th i love 12 i love 9 um i didn't really watch 13th because i didn't think it was great for the first like six or seven episodes and nothing really hooked me at that point so i think i was also going to college or in college or something at that point so i ended up stopping the series then um i know like several things like i know captain jack reappears and stuff like that but i don't know i, I don't i doubt i'm gonna ever watch doctor who again just because it seems like it's it's taken a very different shift from what i liked and loved about the show when i was growing up with it or at least when i was in high school watching it so watching stuff like this that reminds me of the stuff that i really enjoy about the doctor is just it's it's very special to me so i had a good time with this that being said that is all i have to say for this video i hope you enjoyed let me know your thoughts on the video in the comments below do you have any other videos that you would like me to react to also let me know if you like the video please like the video and as always if you want to see more from me on this channel please subscribe to do so thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye